Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I am answering is, what's in the box in regards to Reef? This is an abstract strategy game from Next Move Games. Uh, also, Plan B Games, I think, publishes it in the U.S., but here in Canada, it's Next Move Games. Puts this one out. This is a game I have been excited to try out in a long time. Uh, this, at the time when it was released, was considered by many to be the follow-up to Azul, and I fell in love with Azul hard. I still love Azul. I still enjoy it. But since hearing about Reef and hearing that it's a follow-up, I've been wanting to check it out. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I have not played this game. I've not even seen this game at a public play event locally or anything like that. All I've seen is pictures on the internet. I have a vague idea of how the game plays just based on the information on the back of the box, but that's it. I am really looking forward to checking out the components in this because we are going to see lots of little tiny plastic pieces that stack together. So I'm going to cut the shrink on this, then we're going to throw this down on the table and we're going to open it up. All right, here we have the box for Reef. We are going to crack open for the first time. Again, I have not played this game. I have not seen the components in person before. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, we're going to edit out something here. I am going to close this window that is scrolling so that you do not see constantly scrolling stuff in the corner of my monitor. Hello, Bruno 3K. All right, take two of that part. All right, we're going to crack open Reef for the first time. Except this lid really wants to stick. Due to the magic of editing, <laughs> the next thing most of you will be seeing is this lid off. Wow. Come on. There we go. All right. All right. Right on top we got instructions. Those are instructions? That's it? Seriously? That's it? I'm in shock. I, I've opened a lot of board games. It's not open often. You get three pages and that's it. Uh, note, this is the Canadian production. So what we have first is the instructions en français. Then we have the instructions in English. Uh, this is it. Look, that's it. That's that's all you got. And these are notes and credits. There's the end of the game. Like, Love it. Nice and short. Then we have a punch board. Player board, some numbered tokens. Not a lot to see here. More player boards, more number tokens. Oh, this is nice. Okay, I didn't realize this. So the player boards, I'm going to punch one here, aren't actually square. They are two-sided, but doesn't seem to be any difference from the side. And we have way more number tokens. And more of the same. And more of the same. Ooh, it looks like we got a fairly solid-looking box insert here. And as I mentioned before I dumped this down, some really neat, these are much chunkier and more solid than I thought they would be. I actually expected that like really thin hollow plastic, like an upwards. These are chunky pieces. All right, let's pull them all out and see if we got, so we got stuff buried underneath. We got some greens here, some more greens. Note that the one I picked up and shook around is a little messed up. We got oranges. Oranges. So these are obviously, you have a reef, these would be your coral. And then we have some cards. We'll get to the cards in a minute. I'm not going to open all of these. What I am going to do is show off at least one of each. So we have red. So like, look at how thick these are. Like they're not, I just expected the, like the, the thin, I, my finger would fit inside it, plastic. I am impressed with that. It's got a nice, not weight to it, because they're not heavy. It's not like the, the weight of, like, say, the Azul tiles. That's a nice chunky piece. And, well, a whole bunch of them. I'm going to show off a yellow. Same deal. Oh, what I should have did is show that these do stack. That's kind of the point. Uh, note, they don't attach. Like, that's just going to fall off. There's no, no magnet here, No nothing to make that stay on. Just gravity. Of course, now I made this so it's not flat, so I'll never get it back in the box. So more yellow. A 
The green ones are going to do a magic trick over here and put a hole in my hand. So we're going to have to hold one of those up to the main camera. What I do like about this is these have got to be really nice for colorblind accessibility because these all feel completely distinctly unique. Um, this isn't even round. It's actually, I don't know, uh, pentagonal, I guess. Yeah, five sides. It's a nice touch. I don't know enough about the gameplay to know if that would make it how um, vision impaired accessible that would make the game, but definitely the pieces you'd be able to tell apart by touch. And then finally you have uh, the swirly purple pieces. I am impressed. The quality here is really higher than I expected. I expected thin, cheap plastic, injected molded plastic. Then the only other thing we got here are some cards. So I will have to assume these are where we're going to put our nice number tokens, which I got to thank our chat room, Trashorama, for pointing out those are the scoring tokens, are going to go into these spots here. The game boards, you can tell, are going to fit right there. So looks like a well-designed insert. We have a pack of cards with no quick way to open them. And from what I understand of the game, and again, I've not played, it's you're going to pick. You're either going to get these or you're going to score this. And that's how the entire game is played. If you get a hand of cards, I'm going to either take two yellow coral or I'm going to score the bottom half. Which I have to assume is a single purple coral. And then I'm going to take two or I'm going to score the bottom and I'm going to get one point. And there are a whole bunch of those that are pretty basic. So we're going to keep going. It looks like one for each one. Then you have combos and it looks like two of either colored coral. And this would be two swirly coral. And this would be two green coral. And this would be two yellow coral. And it looks like there's it's it's a... The deck is designed so that it's balanced. If you notice, there was all the different colors leading to two different color, two points in different colors. And then you have mix match for three. And then you have two reds for three, showing three of those. And I know it ramps up, there we go, to more than one color on the bottom. Uh, let's get one without green. So this one's going to be worth three points or give you two purples. That is about it. Um, we can go through more of these, but you're just getting more of the same. Worth more points, more complicated, more points, different matching colors, get two different colors, or have three purples. Oh, I'm blocking the light a bit and it's doing bad things. Whole pile of cards. What I like about this already is you can just tell this is one of those simple to learn games that hopefully has a lot more depth than you would expect. That it's simple to learn but hard to master, right? That's exactly what you hope for in an abstract game like this. So, of course, you have a higher, harder pattern from here. And from what I understand, the pattern's going to be looking down on your reef. So what I'm going to do really quickly here, just to kind of show it off, I hopefully this won't be see-through, no, eh, slightly, is we're going to throw just a couple of these on here. To kind of, let's not grab green. All right, so I place this one here. I'm going to put this one over here. And then I'm going to grab some reds. And we'll put red here, and then later I'm going to put red over here, right? And you're going to score looking down. That's it. That's all you get in this game. Bunch of really nice, chunky tokens and a pack of cards showing you different combos of those tokens on a player board. To be honest, it's exactly what I expected to see. <laughs> I'm not disappointed. I'm not overly impressed. Actually, no, I am. I'm overly impressed by the quality of these pieces. These are much chunkier, more solid pieces than I expected them to be. Now, as I mentioned earlier, getting them back into the box could be a whole other thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to pull this off. Cards, cards, cards. Ah, uh, one last thing before I put these away. You have standard playing card size cards. No... Uh, no special finish. They just have a matte finish, no linen finish or anything like that. Should fit a standard um, card sleeve if that's something you're into. What I will note is if you do sleeve these cards, they are not going to fit back in that spot, most likely. There does not seem to be any extra space in there for holding sleeve cards. So that is something to consider if you do decide to sleeve. You're going to have to find some other way to store the cards in the box. Which may mean they just fit in a different slot here, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna give up on trying to get this to fit perfectly. 
my guess is if I was actually packing this game up for the night, I just wouldn't bother with these. I would just throw a color into each of the different props, and I would probably leave this insert just out on the table to be able to hand them out. So there you go. That's what you get in Reef. Uh, you're going to have to forgive me for not trying to get the box to fit back perfectly, but mm -hmm. if I had punched that, we wouldn't be having this little bit of a rise over in the corner here. Reef. So there you have it. What you get in the box for Reef. A Coral Reef building game from Next Move Games. Uh, abstract strategy at its finest as far as that. Like looking at this, it's exactly what I expected it to be. You got multi-use cards where you're going to decide if you want to use the card to get more uh, coral or if you're going to score coral that's already on your board. Player with the most points wins. That's about it. Um, I don't know how many rounds you play or anything like that. Component quality is actually better than I expected. It actually surprised me. I expected the plastic pieces to feel more like toys. Um, with the really thin injection mold where they're basically hollow, like think of an upwards tile. That's not at all what these are. These are chunky tiles that stack well. No, they stack, they don't stick together, which is kind of a good thing. It's not like Lego here. You're just stacking things and gravity holds them together. A um, whole bunch of great components, but not a lot. A um, bunch of plastic tokens, a uh, couple player or four player boards, or four, four player boards? Yes, four player boards, thank you. Uh, four player boards and a bunch of scoring tokens. I am really looking forward to checking this out. I'm a big fan of abstract strategy games, especially games that I can introduce to non-gamers and family members that don't want to learn a heavy game but can play games like say Azul. this looks like it's going to be a perfect one for my kids as well looking forward to checking out reef when i do check out reef you will be able to find out my thoughts over on our blog that is at tabletopbellhop.com i'll also be sharing our my thoughts on our podcast the tabletop bellhop gaming podcast which you can find on your podcatcher of choice and you can also catch on youtube youtube.com slash tabletop bellhop Basically, Tabletop Bellhop, one word, that's us. You can find us everywhere on the web. If you did enjoy this video and want to support us creating more content like this, please consider going to patreon.com slash, you know it, Tabletop Bellhop. I am Mo Tuzano of the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.